This overview shows a complete Magnesix pin instrumentation set for all dimensions, from 1.5mm through 2.0mm and 2.7 to 3.2mm. Instruments for different dimensions are color-coded. You will need the following instruments to implant a Magnesix pin 3.2. A 3.2mm reduction wire, the measuring device, a 3.2mm drill bit, the depth gauge, a double drill guide, the impactor with sleeve, insert and screwing tip, and the optional hammer with plastic insert. If the reduction wire has been used for temporarily stabilising the fracture situation, the length of the pin can be determined by advancing the measuring device over the reduction wire up to the bone. All instruments compatible with the different dimensions are colour-coded to ensure the correct instrument is used for each pin dimension. To prepare the 3.2mm impactor, the blue-coded impactor tip is screwed into the blue-coded impactor sleeve. The impactor sleeve can now be loaded with a 3.2mm pin. The impactor insert is inserted into the sleeve. Gently press the impactor insert to make the magnesics pin appear at the impactor tip. Only the impactor insert is used for the last few millimetres of the insertion process. The recess in the head of the pin helps position the insert centrally. This recess also reduces the risk of the insert slipping off the pin head. This ensures a better view of the implant. This video describes the treatment of an osteochondrosis disecans to the lateral femur condyle using two Magnesix 3.2 pins. Before the Magnesix 3.2 pins can be implanted, the fragment has to be repositioned and temporarily stabilized. In this video, two reduction wires are used for repositioning and pre-drilling the implant bed. The reduction wires are inserted into the bone through the double drill sleeve. If necessary, use an image intensifier to check the depth of the wire. The depth of the reduction wires is determined using the measuring device. In our case, the length for both pins is 50 millimeters. The first reduction wire is now removed. The first 50 mm pin is inserted into the impactor sleeve. The impactor insert is reinserted and pushed forward until the pin appears at the impactor tip. The tip of the magnesics pin can now be positioned in the pilot hole. The pin is now carefully impacted into the pilot hole using a hammer if necessary. Make sure that the pin does not get stuck during insertion. Only the impactor insert is used for the last few millimeters of the insertion process. This ensures a better view of the implant. Before the second pin is inserted, the reduction wire must be carefully removed with minimum axial pull. The second pin is now inserted in the same way as the first. The impactor sleeve protects long pins in particular against bending. We therefore recommend that you use the impactor. In some cases, the pin has to be countersunk 
The impactor insert is used for this. The recess in the head of the pin helps to position the insert centrally. This recess also reduces the risk of the insert slipping off the pin head. The fracture has now been treated.